this one but i see the day i see entirely different day ahead that it will be the time now with the new technologies or the technologies which are developed here in the nuclear field and other fields as well that india will be indian engineers will be building nuclear power plants for, for the world not only for india this will happen this will happen and we have seen this in it field information technology field we have seen in telecom field we have seen many fields really even in the space technology what we are doing chandrayaan when we launch do the experimental satellites of other nation including advanced nations in the us or germany or even japan or korea this on this we never imagined that this day one day we will be doing that i do see the day one sometimes when the nuclear treaty was signed is a really metaphoric little philosophical thinking that why did us came forward to sign the nuclear treaty and i felt that and what i was seeing some of the situations elsewhere that perhaps america has forgotten to build nuclear reactors and they want indian engineers because after three mile island they never, never built many reactors really some kind of accident so i think it's a great time for india and i believe that 21st century belongs to india there is no question of that i remember one of the talks sudarshi ji was there in nagpur we were talking that one day india will take over not take over over take not take over over take china very soon and today's reports have come in 2018 indian economy perhaps if can maintain our growth rates if you have good governance if you are at all you have good governance then by 2018 and this was not predicted at all by anyone until recently now until yesterday day for yesterday that india will one day take take over take china in many ways because we have built all these things on democratic platform so all the confusion all corruption all kind of problems we have built that china has not faced that it china has not faced the problems of democracy and liberal framers like india and i think that is a bigger challenge which russia faced through the glass nose and paris strike earlier and we saw what happened to russia so i think it's a great time for india for this is a century this is a historical opportunity swami vivekananda had predicted that one day this will happen after india gets independence and perhaps 100 years later later india would come and become the i think the greatest nation create wealth and glory which she has never seen in entire history so this is a historical opportunity for india i think and we have demonstrated i think i am not pride but we can say with great humility that in the field of nuclear technology in the field of space program in the field of information technology in telecom we have demonstrated that that india can do it and this will be demonstrated in many field today india has become the r&d hub of the whole world when i was studying people talked about that you had a phd that is the brain in the drain the brain in the drain because there is no use of that because there are no opportunities of that kind then people talked about devas people started large scale migration for research to united states and europe earlier people started things the brain drain and mrs gandhi was also accused that why what is the use of creating the scientists and all of them go out particularly from our iits and all that now we are talking about brain gain in lifetime same lifetime brain gain people are coming here india has become the r and d hub if today some research has to be done in information technology or microsoft new operating system or intel has to come out the new chip then they have to come to india and develop it design it get it developed here this is a change brain gain but now we are coming to different perspective in the liberal framework by what we are talked about we are talking nuclear power plants will come from russia or some that is a very liberal framework indigenous development but also development of the world which will which will assimilate we are talking about brain chain brain chain will create a worldwide brain chain for the entire humanity for the prosperity of humanity for which mother india stands for so i think there are, these are different times and i request that i think we we need to very cooperative approach to look at no more we should talk now in terms of government public private etc etc we are talking in integrated way like many countries talked about we all collaborate one india to accomplish the great mission like we have accomplishments nuclear program sometimes space program definitely and drdo programs we are trying to do and other programs as well as one india india one team and maybe also collaborations and helps and people from all over the world the time has come now for india to give technology to the world like i think we will not put embargoes on we will give it to all the well meaning countries once we develop the technologies if they are for well meaning i think utilizations this is a different times professor kakotkar dr kakotkar anil kakotkar symbolizes that 
that that that spirit i think that india can do it and yes given us the way many of these people with the device dr kakotkar dr banerjee we have what he has said and dr nair madhavan nair we see them that they have studied on indian soil they are product of dr of course our past president they are products of small cool schools they studied in native languages they studied in marathi or they said bengali or somebody studied in their tamil they have studied in it's in different languages so there is no barrier of that kind we have seen that there is no barrier of that kind the language is not a barrier you can understand that thing where you study and it, our programs are not built by people who went out and came back really we studied everywhere they were built by people who studied who were the product of indian schools indian colleges indian engineering colleges indian research i think that is another might of great, i think great pride people most people went out that's okay but our indian programs were not indian technology were developed by people who studied in municipal schools like dr dr mashel kar himself like that so i think this a uh, thing there is n- nothing to look back this one is a time to i think the, i i believe that 21st century i would say one word metaphorically i think if you look at the future of india we have many challenges many many challenges and i agree that there are many challenges there is a big paradoxes we see the richest people we see the most poor people there are so many burning problems we can make heavy water but we have can't make potable water sometimes like we have made a potable water we have seen these salinity plants etc but this has a great burning problem this india has got and that is also a, a different opportunity for us the largest one of the largest populated nation under 10 crore people now everywhere you will see indians now whenever you go any airport any laboratory you go to l all the teens etc stand up and they are all indians so i think it's a totally different world and we believed that india was udeva kutumba we believed that that india the whole world is our family not only just statement it was a made every vedic time this statement was made now it has come true it is coming true i think that is coming true that whole world for india is a family for us and naneshwara went much ahead of that also hey vishwachi majagar in this is my home we never know civilization or new saint has ever made that statement that kind of no no leader has made that this is my home for many countries many languages many people of this kind so on but he went by that i'm not just making a statement this is my this one i'm straight fast in my this approach i see mati jay jay ji sthiro kim mona achara achara this is the ultimate philosophy of the reality that everyone is me that is what science is discovering that is where the spiritual interface comes that everyone is nothing but my own projection i think this is the vision we have to carry to the world and this is the vision which will expire and this is what science is trying to discover this is the synthesis of science and spirituality and that's why vigyan bharti said that you know scientific approach we will not limit to science means physics chemistry etc science means all sciences economic sciences spiritual sciences all sciences prapanchik vigya prakanchu prapanchik gyan like naneshwara describes vigyan means that this is what we have to take forward taking integrated view and we organize many conferences many seminars world congresses in ayurveda world Con- congress in vedic science bharti vigyan sammelan where women we like to the science can occur in the kitchen science can occur on the farm let the farmers also participate let us understand what are the burning problems for uh, for, for india and, and create a sustainable development inclusive development for india through science and technology so these are the examples that we have great hope for india and we are celebrating as by celebrating dr kakotkar's life and times and contribution i think we are celebrating the spirit of india and i think i really think that on behalf of all of you i wish dr kakotkar's thoughts and yes i see these days that when you get 65 etc you become much younger people are more vibrant and more want to contribute i think we must create opportunities for them that they must contribute more i think i like uh, like edison said all the mistakes we made fast yeah they you, you now i am talking much bigger wisdom and i can lead india in different ways must create those opportunities for them dr kakotkar i wish a long life very healthy life and great di- direction and guidance and vision for new our nuclear program also that is for india's development and real prosperity now i want to say the day when bharat mata becomes jagan mata thank you very much That was an exceptionally spirited speech from Dr. Vijay Bhatkar.